Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here, Collie Center. In today's training, we're gonna be looking at some Collie empty hand striking techniques. So click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button if you like to train the empty hands of Kali of Filipino martial arts. And let's get to the training. When it comes to Filipino martial arts, there are two methods of empty hand striking. We have the open hand striking tactics and techniques, and then we also have the closed fist striking techniques as well. So in today's training, we're gonna be taking a look at the open hand techniques. In Kali, the primary striking for the empty hands, even though we can come in with our closed fist strikes, our punches and things, but in Kali, our primary empty hand striking techniques is our open hands. And the reason for that is sometimes when you're striking, when you're punching here, you do risk breaking the hands or all that, yeah. But the main thing is that when we're striking with the empty hands, not only is this moving the energy a little bit different into the opponent things, but this allows us to go ahead and start grabbing and locking on to our opponent and we can secure more of a short range of a really tight close quarter or clinching type of range so that way we can really make sure we can use heavy artillery tools to do maximum amount of damage to our opponent. So what I want to do is give you three basic techniques and we're going to just put them into a drill format kind of thing and we're going to work them out. First technique here on the empty hands is the basic slap. So as we come in with a slap, this is just like if we had the impact weapon, if we had the stick or if we had the bolo, we're gonna come all the way through with that number one slap. That angle one is going downward diagonal. The fingers are loosely held together, the hand is slightly cupped, and then we go with a nice fluid strike all the way through, looking to strike the opponent right towards the eye, temple, and ear. So a number one slap, right there, all the way through the head. It's very, very powerful. Work that on the right hand and also work that on the left hand. So you have one and one, one and one right there. Now there are different countering tech, uh, tactics that you can do with the slaps. Uh, eventually, once like Tom's here or something like that, I'll go ahead and do some more videos on that. But right now we're just gonna start developing the techniques. So that's number one. Work your slaps and uh, do a whole round of that. And then let's go into technique number two. All right, technique number two. We're gonna be looking at the angle two, which is the hacking with the form. We're gonna be looking to take the form and we're gonna smash right into our opponent. Sometimes you're gonna smash that temple or that side of the face. You can even smash into the neck. So we have that two right here. So we can work that two with the right arm and also with the left arm. And it's good just to isolate these from time to time. Just that way you can also start working some tempering condition on the body as well. So we can go one, two. A two with the right and then a two with the left. A two with the right and a two with the left. Now, right now I'm just stopping it, but you could go fluid and you could go all the way through here as well. All right, but we're looking to cut in right now for the drill that we're gonna be building. We're gonna be slapping and then we're gonna hack and we're gonna cut in and we're gonna get an attachment. All right, so right now, let's go ahead and work this out. We have one, two, right there. One, two, right there. One, two. And a little bit on the left-hand side. One, two. One, two. One, two, right there. All right, work that out, get some reps in, and then we're gonna take a look at technique number three. Technique number three. This is actually probably one of my 
favorite empty hand techniques, and it's the good old elbow strike. When we look at landing our elbows here, we wanna make sure our elbow is bent as much as we can, and uh, we wanna protrude this bone right here as much as we can, and that's what we wanna smash our opponent with. The elbows are so powerful that not only do they smash bone, but a lot of times they'll even cut almost like a knife. So from here, we can strike our elbow, strike our elbow, strike our elbow. And we can go anywhere for that eye, the mandible, the temple, anywhere right there pretty much is gonna be a good target when it comes to an elbow. So we wanna make sure we're working our elbows on the right hand side and also on the left hand side, right there. All right, let's get a round of our elbows in and then we'll go ahead and put everything together into a combination drill. All right, let's go ahead and put all these techniques together into one combination drill. So we're gonna be doing this on both sides of the body, just kind of alternating sides. So we're gonna start off with the right hand, we're gonna slap our one, hack in on that angle two, and then we're gonna grab, so we're gonna get this connection and then bring it over, and then we're gonna hit that elbow with the left elbow right there. Then we're gonna switch it, we're gonna alternate. I'm gonna slap with the left hand. I'm gonna hack in with that left hand again. Grab him right there behind the uh, behind the skull, behind the neck, or you can even grab him right there on the ear, and then right elbow, right to the face. All right, so let's go ahead and get a few reps on this. Nice and slow, let's do it slow a couple times. So we have one, two, three, right there. One, two, three. All right, again, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right there. All right. Let's work it out. Get a few reps in. Work those techniques out, work those drills out, build each technique individually, and then start building that combination. You know, these strikes right here, they don't always look like a whole lot because they don't make a whole lot of sound and all that, especially when you're hitting the bob dummy or what, and you're coming in behind that. It doesn't always look like it's much, but when these techniques land, man, they do a lot of damage, and it's real quick. The other thing about these techniques is that you can start generating a ton of pressure with them. And the nice thing is that all these techniques come directly off of the mechanics developed from the weapons. You know, Kali, a lot of people think that Kali is a weapon-based art. Kali is not a weapon-based art. Kali is a weapon art. And the empty hands are looked at as a weapon. And they follow the exact same principles as the bolo, as the impact weapon of the sticks, the knives, all that stuff. The techniques come directly off of the weapons. So work it out, work those slaps. Sometimes when you're beginning your slaps, your hands might get a little tender. They need to be tempered, they need to be conditioned. So you can work that out. If you're working out with a bob right here and you want a little bit extra bonus training for a little bit more conditioning for your hands, if hitting you know his face is a little bit too much for your hands at this moment, you can also work a tempering drill. Just kind of slow it down and get used to the impact right here at whatever you can take and then get the reps in and build the tempering. You can also, just for tempering purposes, you can start slapping into the torso right here, right there, right there. Just to start working some tempering of the hands, toughen them up. Right there, right there, right there, okay? Because you gotta temper your body. 
you know, when you're training with the sticks, when you're training with a bolo or something like that, you don't need to temper those things. But your body needs to become like the iron of the blade. So work that tempering. Boom, right there. Right there. Right there. Work the tempering and get these hands tough. If you want to see more empty hand drills, maybe you want to see my buddy Bob right here make some more appearances in some videos, go ahead and tell me in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy the empty hands and want to see more, hit that thumbs up button, and that way I know to make some more uh, empty hand drills and videos for you, so that way you can train your empty hands as well. Sometimes in Kali, it's really easy to kind of neglect the empty hands, because I know that the weapons are really, really fun, but we have to remember that the empty hands is one of the weapon areas of Kali. We look at our body as a weapon. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Say hi to Bob in the comments below and thank Bob for uh, being a great partner today, a great assistant in the video today. If you want to get more training with us, head on over to CollieCenter.com. Go check out my Empty Hands DVD download. That's going to give you a ton of really cool drills that you get to work specializing in the empty hands. You can also check out our further training programs and courses right on over there. Also, click the join button right below this video and check out becoming a sponsor of our channel so that way if you decide to join our members area, you can get exclusive access to our perks and exclusive videos, training videos, and all kinds of extra training tips behind the scenes and all kinds of really cool stuff in our members area here on the channel. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Get on outside, go train, train some weaponry, train your empty hands, and go have fun.